little brother Kendrick is a voracious reader, an accidental comedian, and my biggest cheerleader. He reads at a collegiate level, has a passion for nature I will never truly be able to understand, and is obsessed, and I do mean obsessed, with Pokemon Go. <laughs> I can make a list of ways to describe my brother, but tonight I'm here to focus on the one identifier that has been emblazoned across my little brother's chest since a very young age. My brother has autism. Autism spectrum disorder, more commonly referred to as autism, is a group of complex disorders in brain development. The autism spectrum ranges from ADHD to nonverbal autism. My brother has something called high-functioning autism, more commonly referred to as Asperger's syndrome. So what exactly does this mean? Well, last year, my brother took several assessments in an attempt to put abilities on the autism spectrum. On one of these tests, he scored in the 99th percentile for both broad mathematics and broad reading. On another test, however, which evaluated um, your response to social, uh, social situations, my brother scored in the point third percentile. Not third percentile, point third percentile. <laughs> you can imagine the shock I had, his social butterfly of an older sister. In fact, we're almost nothing alike. For example, I love organizing and packing for trips, whether a sleepover a couple miles away or an excursion halfway across the world. My brother will wait until the very last minute to pack for anything. One of my favorite stories was last, uh, last October break when he flew across the country for the first time by himself to visit our grandfather in Florida. I helped him pack the night before, and on our way to the airport, he asked me, hey, Tegan, where are we going? I rolled my eyes and explained that we were going to the airport where he would catch the flight that took him to Florida. He nods and looks down at my feet. So where's your bag then? I rolled my eyes and explained for what felt like the millionth time that he'd be flying alone. His face turned as pale as a bedsheet and he leaned back in his seat. I didn't know that, he murmured terrified. My frustrated parents then gave him the same old speech about how he never pays enough attention. I carefully reworded their frustrations into something a little bit more manageable as Kendrick tends to shut down whenever people yell at him. Although my parents try to speak in a calm, understanding way to my brother, all hell breaks loose around homework time. My dad lacks the patience to deal with my brother's idiosyncrasies around homework, and my mom lacks the stamina to keep up with my brother's constant changes of topic and natural defiance. So since before I can remember, the task has always been delegated to me. It's always been natural for me to put aside my own homework and help my brother memorize vocabulary words or write an essay. It wasn't until I hit York that I realized that this special characteristic was considered special, when most high school students, especially York students, won't put aside their own grades to help their younger siblings. Some people call it a sacrifice, but I call it being an older sister. I want more than anything to see my brother succeed in as many things as possible. Although my parents and I jumped to his, um, jumped to his defense as oft, or very, very often, um, my brother often doesn't receive the same praise I get constantly. Not only, has, not only have I helped my brother, but my brother has helped me see the world with a new perspective. When he was younger, Kendrick was infatuated with chickens. This infatuation has faded to a manageable enjoyment, but when he was about eight, he knew more breeds of chickens than he did names of students in his third grade class. <laughs> Honestly, who cares about chickens? I mean, I'm a big fan of fried chicken and fluffy chicks during Easter, but I learned that chickens will throw themselves in between offspring and, their, and danger. Chickens like to be cuddled and can form bonds with their owners. My brother would sit in our backyard and watch our 10 feathered bantams scurry across our homemade coop. Kendrick's often teased for his various infatuations, whether it be chickens or catching lizards or dragons. You can tease me, degrade me, but the second you say anything about my little brother, prepare for a path you have never seen before. I've slapped my best friends for teasing him, I've gotten in fights with his classmates, and I've taught him ways to stand up for himself, which don't include bringing pocket knives to school. <laughs> Over the course of my maturing, I have been insistent that Kendrick knocks on my door before he enters. I'm a 17-year-old girl. I don't want him walking in as I'm changing. Yet, no matter how hard I beg, plead, or cry, he always manages to walk through that door whenever I'm half naked. Over the past couple of years, he's gotten better, but still. 
Freshman year, I started doing terrible things to myself, and it slowly escalated until last year, where I can officially say I hit rock bottom. I won't get into the details, but I wanted to and succeeded in hurting myself multiple ways and multiple times. My brother, sweet, loving Kendrick, walk up to the door, knock on it, and say, hey, Tegan, can you help me with my homework? How could I continue hurting myself my little, when my little brother needed me on the opposite side of the door? A few months ago, my brother sat me down and wanted to know, number one, why I took medication like he did, and number two, why all the medicine was locked up in our house. I patiently, although carefully, explained to him that the chemicals in my brain can't sustain themselves, mainly serotonin, and I take medicine to fix that. All the medication in my house is locked up, so I don't take it all at once. My brother immediately understood, and with tears in his eyes, gave me the biggest hug I've ever had in my life. Please don't do it. Please don't leave me, he said. And those words still haunt me today. Kendrick, I won't leave you, I promise. I will never give up on my brother. He is my biggest fan at sports events, my lizard-catching hero, and the reason why I'm still here. Sure, he's a little weird, but before you pass judgment on his failing grades or unique way of thinking, watch his eyes light up whenever you mention Magic the Gathering or fantasy novels. Watch the way my parents and I immediately jump to his defense whenever anyone questions his loving nature or intelligence. <laughs> and watch him change the world, one person at a time. Thank you.